each other. <laughs> uh, <laughs> John and Ken unplugged. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes. In fact, um, quite often I'm, um, well, not often, but I am in bed at that time sometimes. So it'll be <laughs> actually probably me making sure everything is off in the house, I think. Well, you know, you're a fool if you ignore the well-being of your own backyard, aren't you? And, uh, you know, the wider application is obvious here. Well, it's your own nest you end up fouling. Well, not, not, just not so much your own nest, but it's your children's nest you're fouling if you don't do it. Uh, you'd have to be pretty antisocial not to get behind this. I think if you don't do something or you don't think you can do something um, to support, to help something like this, you never will. Nothing will ever change. I've got a wee bit of a problem there because I'm doing a live show for a whole crowd, thousands of people, and uh, I think my public want to see me, so I may not be able to, sadly. Gary won't be switching off, but his audience certainly will be. <laughs> <laughs> well, here is the little he's going to do, ladies and gentlemen. He normally drives a huge truck, it's an eight-wheeler, but he's decided to move down into an electric battery-powered scooter, and good on your side. Then you're getting this way uh, on the radio. Yes, after we've, uh, I'm going to drive it to and from work for a couple of weeks and pretty much everywhere. I'm just going to put my own car in the garage. What? I am! <laughs> this remains to be seen, folks. I will do it and then we're going to give it away after two weeks, so yeah, it's nice. And of course, we've left the plastic on the seat in case he has a nervous one, so if you do win the scooter, it'll be almost in mint condition. And this plastic can be recycled once. <laughs> I've sat on it too, so it's good. <laughs> We are at the turning point, so if this helps to get people starting to think about it, I think that's a great idea. I guess I started thinking about it when I watched Al Gore's An Inconvenient Truth, and it just made me appreciate how small this planet is, how tiny this planet is, and the demands on it are becoming ever intense and more intense, and so we just have to do something. So it's not good enough now to sit by and watch it sort of turn to chaos. We've got to do something. <laughs>